Hey, my name is Alin. I'm an electrical engineering consultant at WSCAD and today I want to show you how easy it is to create your electrical schematics using the WSCAD suite. And for that I've prepared an example. Right here you see a packaging unit where a box with goods arrives and then needs to be packed and labeled. For that we have a robotic hand that grabs a lid out of a stack and places it on the box. Then maybe we'll have a set of sensors that will detect if the lid is correctly placed. If so, the package moves forward where it gets labeled and sent away for shipment. This means that for our schematics we will want to control the electrical motor that moves the conveyor belt and the pneumatic valves that move the grip of the robot and the label maker. So let's just jump to it. So here I'm just starting off with my supply page and I'm going to place a protection for uh, my circuit out of the part database. I already downloaded some parts in advance from WSCAD Universe and these parts also have symbols attached to them. And uh, now you see me here using um, a lot of shortcuts in order for me to move as fast as possible when creating the electrical schematics. So let me just finish this uh, supply page real quick. Here you see I've placed um, a socket uh, for cabinet maintenance and then a uh, um, power supply for 24 volt. Okay, once the supply page is done, uh, I'm going to move over to uh, the page where I'm um, drawing my conveyor belt, where we have our motor that starts and stops the conveyor belt. And here I'm going to place the protection for the motor uh, as a part out of my database. And maybe the motor, for the motor itself, uh, I don't need a part, I'm just going to place it as a symbol out of my symbol explorer. Then uh, I will look to uh, insert the contactor that turns the motor on and off. I'm going to place that out of the part management like I did before with uh, the other parts. And using the contactor manager uh, I'm going to place the contacts of uh, this contactor, the coil I have already placed. And maybe you want some manual controls for um, starting and stopping uh, your conveyor belt and for that I'm also um, placing a start and stop button. So you see the page is not quite done yet because what I want to do now is um, I want to insert my PLC which will control my conveyor belt and my pneumatic valves. After I'm done placing the PLC, uh, I'm going to assign some comments on the addresses of the PLC. 
just to know what each address uh, does. And I'm going to fast forward here. Once I'm done with placing the main uh, elements of the PLC, I'm going to open the page with the conveyor belt, with the motor, and out of the PLC manager, I'm going to place the addresses. So the symbols for uh, the inputs and outputs of the PLC. Now maybe just duplicate uh, this button. One is going to be uh, used to start the conveyor belt, the other one uh, to stop the conveyor belt. So the motor is um, controlled uh, using electricity, but uh, the grip of the robot and uh, the label maker are um, controlled via pneumatics, uh, via air. And for that, uh, I'm going to insert the electrical part of the valve, and we are going to leave the fluid schematics for later on. The only thing I need to do now is just complete the schematics uh, on the PLC page and give it the 24 volt supply. So that's the schematic. Make sure to check out the next videos where I'm going to build a panel layout, fluid schematics and much more.